in this video I'm going to open the um, clutch casing and the actual transmission and see how it is inside and we are also going to clean that. So at this point the engine is um, sort of ready to get inside the car so I need to do two things. I need to clean the engine, three things. Clean the engine bay, see if I'm gonna paint blue or some other color and I need to figure it out all this um, transmission situation. So for now uh, I'm going to just open this case up. Um, I'm not sure if I, I might take the whole car to the car wash, but uh, I might take this too and spray some uh, anti-grease foam or spray or whatever it is and wash it off. Yeah, the situation now is pretty sad. So, this is out and of course it's leaking. So, I turn this over in here. I can see a little bit, but the actual, actual drain plug is down here. Uh, it was so dirty that I didn't want to use any of my tools in there, um, but um, I might open it, uh, flip it over, and let it drain all the oil because I don't want any accidents in my garage. Thank God I had that extra carpet in there uh, that came from the house, and uh, yeah, that helps to keep the garage clean. So let's use the 15 millimeter. Unplug the drain plug ah. and I'm going to use all my power. This is stinks so bad. I guess that's the smell of the uh, transmission fluid. So let me get this plate, put it in here. All right. I just hope the thing doesn't break. Oh yeah, boy. Oh, oh no. Oh shit. You have no idea. I didn't unplug the air release. <laughs> all right let's do it again I need to use all my power and lift this up because oh wow this is heavy Ugh. So this is a very messy job. I suggest you to have like I do like a piece of carpet or whatever underneath so this doesn't happen to you. Um, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Ooh, twelve, I think it twelve can twelve bolts in here, so we're gonna remove them. the last screw so let me show you what I mean uh, so all these screws are here right and you have one here that I barely got and there's one right in here and I can't reach that if I don't remove those two screws two screws and so let's do it all right so Got it. Plate is down. Ooh. This is a 14 millimeter. Uh, 
This plate is down. Let's go back to 13 millimeter. Take the last screw. Or oh, actually, there's a couple. take all these screws out of here now let's just figure it out the last one all right seems like this is a 12 millimeter not even that tight it's just here because it needs to Uh, hold something so there was something in there so the two weird ones the two weird ones uh, goes around the sticker this one here this one here this one this one all right and if you ever wonder what a speedometer <coughs> looks like this is what it looks like in the transmission side oh, maybe, maybe tidying or yeah. there is this little sensor and this is actually the thing that sends the info to your speedometer so let me show you the other day I opened it and I was like, what is that? So you take this carefully. Oh, there's so much gunk in here. Uh, there is a O-ring and there you go. This is your speedometer. Speedometer. See the little teeth in here? And inside there, you also have a teeth in your um, differential. And um, as your differential spins, it spins this thing here, and this gives you the accurate speed. So if I plug this here and start spinning, it's going to give some voltage in there. And that voltage, each voltage means a uh, certain speed, I guess. Um, Wow, man, it is dirty. I can scrape it. Okay, so I went inside, read a little bit and just say, find the two spots where you can put the screwdriver and prop it up. And so I guess, I mean, you just need to uh, work it out. And, and that's it. I mean, you can see here, this is the uh, internal part. Uh, I know that somewhere here might have a magnet. Let's work on that later. Um, everything kind of looks nice in there. Well, we need to see the gears. So this here is the differential. And I was like, where the hell is the differential? I didn't think the differential would be in the same place where the in the same housing in same uh, anyway uh, this is the speedometer and when the differential spins you see this little plastic gear here so this is where what spins and makes the speedometer uh, actually tell how much uh, how fast we are going super cool huh uh, so now what I my, my goal here uh, besides cleaning that is to be sure that this here um, is good and we don't have broken gears so I'm not sure what this is 
but there's a lot of grease down there um, well I'm gonna clean in the carpet there it's dirty anyway I guess this is like uh, what accumulates in there you can see like little something um, it looks like there's a magnet and uh, that's metal that's what it looks like here yeah it is um, metal I guess this is the magnet so look at my screwdriver I'm just gonna it just gets stuck in there so that's great I mean um, on the bottom of the transmission I don't know if every transmission has it but there is a magnet and the magnet picks up stuff making um, everything else clean so good kudos for whoever engineered that I am going to take this differential I'm gonna take it out of here I need to put it in somewhere in some place where it's going to be safe so I'm gonna open a space on my bench and yeah it comes right off all right so the furniture is safe in here I am going to uh, maybe cover it with uh, like a plastic so it doesn't have any dust or anything all right so this is how this thing looks inside oh I see a scoring here look at that um, and technically you just turn this um, this comes off I'm gonna put this right in here where it's not too dirty and so this you can turn um, everything looks all right and as you turn that which comes from the clutch so you turn this in here yeah look at that and I guess when you uh, change gears it's going to change so what I see is the scoring here I'm not sure what that score is um, and I really don't want to <laughs> take this out of there but I was looking inside and everything kind of looks all right yeah. but you know you never know yeah this is the differential which means when one side turns um, uh, I see some dirt in there uh, it's not very good it's not quite a dirt seems that is a uh, problem in the teeth inside and but anyway so you see everything's turning um yeah it's kinda So when you turn the sides, 
Yeah. So that one is kind of right. <laughs> this one here, I'm not sure, but I am definitely taking that uh, and washing it because this is terrible. I can't, cannot deal with that um, the way it is. So I'm not gonna put in the car the way it is. This here uh, would be nice if I could take it out and also clean it so I can have uh, all of this clean. Uh, but I need to figure it out how to deal with this. So this will be a different video. So this here was disassembling disassembling the uh, transmission and all that stuff and you probably saw the video of me doing compression tests in the engine so you know that um, it's all good check it out the video if you don't know um, I guess only thing is left now I, I gotta clean all that crap be sure that my transmission is correct and put all together paint my bay install the AM um, AM uh, fuel management system and and done let's put this baby on the dyno and you know tune it properly with a 1100 CC injectors and you know what I'm not gonna keep telling you stuff watch the videos that you didn't watch and watch the videos that are about to come anyway I hope you enjoyed this video I suffer a little bit to open that stuff so I guess if you are doing the same thing this video is gonna be good for you uh, and like subscribe comment send a kiss hug people and i'll see you later